How's it going everyone? With the Guilty Gear Strive beta on the horizon, I wanted to share how I'm going to be streaming my footage from the PS4 to my PC without a capture card. This is how you do it. First you want to go to this link here, I'll have it in the description. This is the PS Remote Play um, software. And you're going to want to scroll down to Windows, PC, and Mac. And then here pick the according one. So I'm going to be streaming from a PS4 to a PC. And you're going to want to click here where you install the app. I already have it installed, so we're going to go ahead and switch to that now. Now some prerequisites before we start with this portion of the tutorial is you probably need a second PSN account. It doesn't need PS Plus or anything, just an account that's on your, P uh, your PS4 or PS5. You're also going to need a second controller. So for example, right now I have my hitbox plugged up to the PS4, and I have my controller plugged up to my PC. So whatever controller you want to play with, you want to have on your PS4. So now that you have that set up, let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to want to do here is sign into your second PS4 account. So the one that you're not going to be playing the game on. Um, and now that you signed in, it's going to ask you, you know, some questions. And then just go ahead and pick your device here. And it's going to search. Make sure that your devices are on the same network too. Mine are both Ethernet to the same uh, network. Sometimes, like this, it's not going to be able to find it uh, with the automatic thing, so it's going to tell you to go here. So this is the exact path that you're going to want to take to get that number to register your device. You're going to go to settings, you're going to scroll down to remote play with the little Vita, and then you're going to click this add device. I can't click it now because it's going to show the number to connect to my PS4, but this is where you're going to want to click. So after you input that number, you should be connected to your PS4. And now let's talk about why you needed that second PSN account. The reason that I had to make it was whenever I would try and connect my hitbox to the PS4, it would register as two controllers to the exact same account. So right now we're on my main account, and it would be my PC controller connected to remote play, as well as my hitbox controller connected to that same um, account. And then it would disconnect the remote play if you tried to do anything. If you tried to sign in with the second controller, um, it would just disconnect it completely and remote play would cease function. So the way to get around that is to sign in on one controller on your second account on the PC and then sign into your main account on your main controller from the PS4 itself. Because we're going to be playing from the PS4, we're not going to be playing from this window that we made uh, for OBS. And I'll show you how to connect it to OBS now. Alright, so to connect it to OBS, all we're going to do is click here, make a new scene. And we're going to click this plus button to add a source, add a window capture, go ahead and add a new window capture. And from this drop down, you're going to see PS Remote Play. And you click on it, and you should see it here in the window. Then it'll be up here as well. And you're just going to stretch it out to the entire window here. And then you should be good. And I think everything is set up at this point. Now you're going to want to, let's go ahead and switch back to the desktop. You're going to go ahead and take this PS window, put it on another monitor, you can minimize it if you want, and then you're going to switch your input back to your PS4. So your main monitor is going to switch back to the PS4 or whatever monitor you're playing on. And the reason I'm going to be playing from my PS4 or PS5 is because of the input lag, right? That's required because I'm going to be playing fighting games. If you're not playing fighting games, maybe you're playing like Persona or something, um, you don't have to play from the PS4. You could just leave your PC up and play from the remote window if you wanted. Um, you can also use this to stream to Discord, too. You can stream your PS uh, Remote Play window to your Discord if your friends want to watch. So it's another thing you can look at. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, if you learned anything, please consider liking the video and subscribing. I'll see you next time.